once again, ladies and gentlemen, reintroducing both fighters to the ring for this Shinobi Middleweight title contest. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, representing Team Elite and Hammer, it's Igor Puskarke! And his opponent fighting out of next generation MMA from the blue corner, it's Amadrus Artruski! <laughs> Referee for the contest is Mr. Craig Lawrence. Can I have both fighters to the center of the ring for the referee's instructions? We know for the rules, guys. We're going to go clean, fair fight. Defend yourselves at all times. Listen to me at all times. Any questions? Any questions? Go to your corners, please. So we're on to our co-main event of the evening now, Amadeus Azaski versus Igor Paskaskis. Well, we're really looking forward to this fight. Should be exciting because I have a one-pound bet with Tom Blackledge. Yeah, let's see, uh, let's see where it goes, this fight. Both both guys I've seen a lot of and both I've seen them dominate the wrestling of, the, of, the, uh, well, of their, both their fights. And it's an interesting thing you say that because Obviously, both guys wrestlers. Both know they've got good wrestling, so that could make them stand up and strike. It, it may make for a really good fight this year, yeah. You but know, why go to the floor and try wrestle wrestling against wrestling when you think your striking may be able to beat them? Very unorthodox style from uh, Amadeus. Amadeus. Well, neither of these have got classic striking. That's for sure. Working off that jab. Pascal is the bigger of the two. Yeah, Amadeus. Utilizing the jab a lot, a lot more. Yeah, he's using a nice solid stiff jab. Big overhand right there from Paskarskis. Trying to push off. You, you're right the way in there, looking to stand with each other, aren't they? I think they've, they've realized the wrestling has been, will be nullified. Well, that was a solid leg kick there from Amadeus. Amadeus. It goes in for the for the takedown there. Amadeus uh, looking to defend, but so there we go. First takedown of the fight. So Pekaki with his first takedown. But a full guard of Amadeus. Again, it's not something we see much of, uh, of Amadeus on, off his back. We've not seen either of these two guys really fighting off the back, so he's going to be working. He looks like he's working for a. For a Looks like, look like he's it looks like he's maybe working for a sub there, but he's just kind of stopped that. Looking to work off the cage, trying to roll back. Trying to use the cage there, trying to go for the, trying to go for the abs. That's what oh, he's got so he the armbar. And he's got that. It looks quite deep, that Jamie. Is quite deep. This could be a submission win. No, he's he's let that go. Oh, that, that, that's, that was really tight. Then he's crossed the leg over now. Good work from uh, Piscassi, but I'm, his arm's going to be pretty sore from that. Well, I'm hoping he holds on for the sake of my pound. Well, Piskarski's looking in a lot more trouble than we've seen him in any of his fights so far. Good defence there. Amadeus, Amadeus just didn't have enough there to finish that, that armbar. Yeah, I mean, Piskarski's defended really well. Very, very close there to finishing a 10-0 fighter. And this has been a very interesting first round. Jeremy. Got that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, different to what we expected really we well very little wrestling it was all groundwork and striking yeah and then obviously Igor got, got the takedown he may think twice now in the second round to go for a takedown though because he got you know from his even from Amadeus' back seemed dominated really you know the, he came out of nowhere with that arm bar had a very open guard worked off the cage and, got, and, and went for it didn't quite have enough to finish the arm bar there though Ian no well you'd expect Amadeus to be good on the ground you know look at the gym he's coming from you know next generation very very good jiu jitsu Obviously, didn't win his belt under Next Gen, but has recently joined there. He's been there for the past six to eight weeks, I believe. But, you know, so he's obviously done a full camp down there with uh, with, with Paul Rimmer and, and the lads. But uh, you know, I think the striking wise, he there he had some really good jabs, Amadeus. Yeah, good solid stiff jab. Ego was looking for that double jab jab with the backhand, as we can see on this uh, on this replay here. He didn't quite have the grasp on the on the belly down. 
armbar. So once you turn him over, he used his shin very, very nicely to get the distance. So round two of a possible five rounds area. So here we are back to the striking. Nice long left hook there from Pukaskis. He goes left hand very low though. Got to be careful with that. And Amadeus now goes for the takedown. Great block there though from uh, from Pukaskis, and he, he's now trying to take the dominant control. Well, that was good wrestling there. He forced him to try for the takedown, defended the takedown, got top position himself. Yeah, Pukaskis now on, on top again. Amadeus, Amadeus in it with an open guard there. May look to climb for another arm bar in at some point. Looks like he's trying to isolate that right arm. Yeah, it definitely does. is. Yeah, climbing his legs up high. If he can isolate that arm, he can he can swing over for another arm bar. Maybe a triangle here. You no, know, he's let he's let that go. Crowd really behind one of these fighters. I'm not sure which one, but I think they're shouting "Rock me, Amadeus!" There, that's what I could hear from the crowd. And he goes for another armbar here. Ego's got to be really careful with this. He's gone for his belly down again. He's not quite got the, the grasp on the arm though this time. And uh, Ego sees that and, and, and comes out the other side. He looks looking for the side control now. Goes into half guard. You know, entertaining fight so far, Ian. It really is, yeah, back and forwards action. So Ego working that half guard. Needs to drop a few more shots though. Yeah, I'd like to see him just making a bit of space and firing some shots in. At the moment he's really just sort of jockeying for position, trying to get, I don't know if he's trying to pass the half guard or well, there's a little hammer fist, but he could really make space and drop some real good ground and pound from here. What, what I'm liking about Amadeus though is he's very active off his back, he's going for the subs, he, you know he's always got the open, he seems to have an open guard most of the time to try and look to isolate the arm. You know, again there look, he's, the way he's using his hips, he's utilising it really well. Ego just sort of sitting on top now, not really doing a great deal in this round now. No, you, you really want him to try and cement his, it, what he's doing. He gets the takedown, he's getting top position, but he's just not doing anything with it. I, th I think Ego's clearly got the, the stronger of the two wrestlers. But uh, but Amadeus, he, he's got the better jiu-jitsu from the looks of this. Yeah, certainly. And, uh, you know, and stand-up wise. And I think stand-up, yeah. that solid stiff jab, I think Amadeus has got the better. He just can't get the best of the wrestling. So what, so, what, so what Igor's doing is getting hit with a couple of shots, getting the takedown, but not doing anything with it. So two rounds into this fight, what, what do you think Paul Rimmel will be saying in the corner to uh, Amadeus there? I think what Amadeus needs to do is, is getting the better of striking, but he's spending too long doing the striking and letting Igor initiate the takedown. I think what I'd like to see Amadeus do is get the better strike and maybe get a couple of jabs, follow it up with a takedown, get the top position and then work top position rather than having to win the strike and get taken down and then try to work from his back. Amadeus, we've seen how good he is from the top position once he's on the floor, so that's what I'd like to see him do. Absolutely. Igor, a very big middleweight as well, Ian. Oh, yeah, he's, he's huge and very, very strong. The third round here. Amadeus working off that that jab again. Again, it's that long left hook Igor's trying to use. He had some success last round with it. Very unorthodox, sort of overhand left. From Amadeus, Amadeus. Ooh, nice body kick there from Igor. Ego's hands are really low here. He's got to be very, very careful. Go, 
Nice kick to the legs there. Trying to coax him in there, isn't he? Trying to make an ego make a mistake. You know, something he's not really done in any of his fights is make a mistake. That's why he's 10 and 0 Ian. It's a long amateur career, that, isn't it? Well, it certainly is. You'd have thought maybe we'd thought about going to the pro ranks by now, but no, he's here. And this could be his first loss, the way it's looking. Nicely checked that kick. He's just then got he's got the that sucking to his boots there. The, the head movement from Amadeus is, is, is lovely. It's, you know, the, the work that he's doing here, he's, he's just getting the better. He's getting the more crisp shots. He's, it's, it's that stiff jab, Amadeus. Amadeus with a stiff jab. He's just rocking to the boots. Rock the Amadeus. Of course, with a takedown there, Ego. This is where Ego wants it now, but he needs to do a bit more than what he did in the last round because Amadeus is so active off his back. Exactly, exactly my thoughts. Nice regard there from Amadeus. This is where he'll start looking now for an arm bar again. He'll start to isolate. He's doing it already. He's already isolating that, that right yeah, arm. Working those legs straight away as soon as he's on his back, working the legs up, working to get that submission. Utilising his hips properly and, and going for uh, for subs. Again, he's still trying to isolate that. Now he's trying to isolate that left arm. He's going to try and throw that hip over. Eating a few arm fists as he does it. So I'd like to see some, some more hammer fish from that position. He's got a, a really good position up against the cage here, Ian. He's not dropping enough shots there. Up against the cage, he needs to be really he throwing them to, shots yeah, he in. He needs to make the most of this position he's got himself in. And he's got to be careful because Amadeus is going to use the cage again. This is what's been frustrating. You know, Igor's getting the better, he's getting the takedowns and he should be utilising that and, and doing something more with it. I just don't think he's doing enough with it at the minute. You know, he's, he is getting some good takedowns. But the stand-up is, is all Amadeus, you know. The and the submission attacks the head, are all Amadeus. Yeah, the head movement, so the movement, like, off, off that jab. You know, the follow-ups, beautiful. And Igor's really struggling to hit Amadeus on the feet. But Igor is, is getting the takedowns. Igor's looking, you know, slightly tired here. Amadeus pretty composed so far. That was a nice check of the, of the leg kick there. Yeah, great check from Igor. That, that's going to definitely hurt. Uh, but then he got rocked straight away with that straight left. I think that I think the combinations are, are what's winning it for Amadeus as well on on the feet. So fourth round now. Not much happening here though, start this fourth round. A little leg kick from Adeus, but no follow up on it. Lead him with that leg kick. Good jab there from Igor, it's a lot better. And that's what he needs to do, he needs to use that height, use that reach. Yeah, see how Amadeus is throwing that single leg kick, he's not really following up with it, he's not setting up with anything. That was nice, we, uh, he coaxed Igor in and, and caught him with an overhand right. So we're going to look for Igor take it, go for a takedown in a minute. That leg's getting destroyed at the minute. Well, that's what he needs really to do. Look at that nice punches as well. Like I say, the movement, the, 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 the circling from from Adeus has been brilliant. Oh, Igor caught Amadeus there though. Oh, you can tell it's annoying him. Yeah, he's, he's definitely riled up now. <laughs> he seems to have hurt his foot there. I, th I think he's got a, a problem with the right foot. Amadeus. He's getting caught by that jab now. 
He's getting jabbed off. He's, he's really struggling to move with it. Sort of removing round the cage, they're not going to do much with it. But there's a takedown for for Ego, but a good Again, draw. But that's why I wanted Ego to do. But I think the wrestling of uh, sorry, that's what I wanted Davidez to do. But I think Ego's just got the better wrestling. So it would, uh, ended up on his back again. But is he going to? So, Jamie, what are you looking for him to do here? Well, you know, again, I'm with the, uh, with the open guard. I'd like to see him maybe keep trying to utilise that. And there we go, go for the arm again. Uh, Igor, try and pass the guard. You know, try and coax it in and, and try and... Uh, bit of a stranger entered around there. Well, we're going to go into the, to the uh, fifth and final round, Ian. So tell me your thoughts on that round. Well, honestly. <laughs> Again, I think it, it's just followed the pattern of the fight. The, the story of the fight has basically been Amadeus, Amadeus getting a better than striking. Ego getting a takedown. And Amadeus, Amadeus trying to get the, uh, the do, win the grappling. So what are your thoughts on the show tonight, Ian? Yeah. You know, it's obviously the sixth show that we've put on. Do you know what? Shinobi's always well produced, the fighters are always well looked after. You don't hear one complaint from anyone who fights on the show. If I was an amateur fighter right now, I, this is the show I want to be on. We've got Andrew the Vice Clamp next week on, uh, on ice, taking on Klinger. Tell, tell us your thoughts on that one, Ian. I don't see anyone beating Andrew the Vice Clamp for a very long time. It will be exciting to see back in action at Ice 10 at you'd Earlham. Love to, you'd love to be commentating on that one, wouldn't you? I'd love to be commentating on that one, yes. <laughs> Fifth and final round. Ego getting that jab off a lot better the last couple of rounds. Yeah, yeah, so we should start using that from the beginning because the, the, the better jab from the, at the start was Amadeus. Ego's throwing, he throws that jab from very low though. Oh, that was a solid. Um, well, it didn't look too solid as he threw it, but it seemed to shake uh, Ego that left up. That's the first combo I've seen Ego really put together that, that sort of connected. Making Amadeus think a lot more there. Both very flat footed now. Both looking tired. Yeah, I think it's only a matter of time before we see Ego go for a takedown in a minute. Well, he's got a minute and 40 to do it. Again, the jab from uh, Amadeus getting through even without the height. Very unorthodox striking. Oh, it's, it's not pretty to watch, but is they're getting the results from it. Well, it's electric in here right now in this final round. Crowd on their feet here, Ian. But so close, these two warriors battling out in there. Oh, and he's, there we go, Igor got for the takedown. And let's see if uh, Amadeus, Amadeus goes for an armbar now. I don't know whether he's got enough time, 43 seconds. Although he's a fast working fighter, I think in the fifth round. So he's going for the armbar again. I can see this one going to points, Jamie. 
You think Ian? Both on the feet now. Crowd going absolutely wild, Ian. I don't think there's a person in here sat down. Ego goes for another takedown there, gets it successfully as well. And we're going to go all the way to the judges' scorecard on this one. Well, but tell us your thoughts on that fight, Ian. Ladies and gentlemen, a really close and absorbing contest. Big round of applause for my fighters! We have a unanimous judge's decision. The winner and new Shinobi middleweight champion, Igor Puskake! Once again, big round of applause for a very brave runner-up, Amatrice Artruski!